how do you cope with controlling parents parents that have unrealistic expectations for you parents who are usually almost always right parents who set rules and regulations without stopping to check in and find out how those rules and regulations sit with you and parents who pretty much want to control your entire life as if you were a doll or a puppy for the most part i think that these parents Thing that we their children are an extension of them so they try to correct their past mistakes or live their perfect lives through us so this means that if this parent wanted to be a doctor or an engineer they automatically wish all those things for us which to them is a way of showing their love and their care for us but to us it can be very toxic so from someone who has parents that are somewhat controlling here are six things you can do to cope with controlling parents Hello and welcome to another episode of Chit Chat with Intua. My name is Intua, if you are new here. And if you are returning, what's up my G? Welcome back to another video. I'm making this video because after my last video on adulting and how to survive adulting in your 20s and maybe 30s, someone asked me to make a video on how to cope or deal with parents that are controlling. And I thought it was a great idea because I have once been there. I mean, obviously now I'm, I don't feel the control as much but i was definitely once there and there are a few things i can share here and there that have helped me that will also help you if you do have parents that are controlling so the very first and sure way of dealing with parents that are controlling outrightly is to move out of their house and if your parents are overly controlling not allowing you to live your life and you know develop into your own individuality and all of that and it is stressing your life and affecting your mental health move out if you can afford it most people would move out of their parents house if they can afford it but for the most part a good number of us cannot afford it yet so this very first tip is like a sure solution to the problem but what other things can you do if you cannot afford to move out? I haven't moved out of my parents' house just yet. But I can still say that that control that they used to have over me three, four, five years ago definitely doesn't exist right now. So if this very first tip is not for you, the next five tips will definitely be for you. So the second tip is to talk to them and make sure that you're doing it wisely. Unlike my brother who woke up one morning very annoyed and said, I'm 18 years old and you cannot tell me what to do. I'm a big boy now. You my business. Excuse me, ma'am. You in my business? Yeah, don't do that. Anywho. I was like, yeah. That entire day, the house was quiet. <laughs> what? You are 18 years. Do you see me here in my 20s? So of course, don't do that. Don't go crazy and be abusive or anything like that. So because the heat from you and the heat from them will definitely not result to something good. So of course, do not do that. But I think for the most part, our parents still see us as little kids in their eyes. So you could sit them down, you know, try to reason with them, tell them that, hey, I'm I'm an adult now. So when it comes to something, you should cut me some slack. Tell them, if you do this and this, it makes me feel this and that. And I think that a parent who truly wants to understand you and live with you in harmony would definitely process that and act differently. They are very like likely to you know lean back and allow you to live your life at least to a certain extent okay my third tip is to set boundaries and this can be hard if you're living in your space so if you're living in your parents house or your parents apartment it may be a bit hard to set boundaries but it's not impossible so you can start setting little boundaries here and there you know let them know that they can't do this and that to you because if they do this and that there's a consequence one way i started setting boundaries for myself is simply locking my room it's just that tiny thing and if you have parents that are a bit controlling you know that when you lock your room it's very annoying to them because they literally want to be in your space every single time sometimes they even come into your room and try to look through your stuff and you know stuff like that so it can be very annoying so you can start setting those boundaries maybe lock your room once or twice let them know that okay i'm in your house but if you've given me this room this is my space and i'm going to make use of it and you can't just come in and out me please another boundary you can set with your parents is letting them know that you're not comfortable with them sharing your business with their other friends and a good number of parents do that you have an issue the next thing you know this friend of theirs meets you somewhere and is telling you or advising you on an issue 
issue that happening at home that they shouldn't have any information about and that thing is very annoying so you can outright tell your parents that if you're going to be sharing this and this and that with your friends then i'm not going to be open with you about anything another boundary you can set is by letting them know that they cannot lash out at you just anyhow they cannot criticize you for decisions that you've taken that they even haven't bothered to understand where you're coming from when it comes to certain boundaries make sure that your clearly defining that boundary and there's a consequence so if they break that boundary what are you going to do even if you can tell it to them with your actions let them know that she did this and that is why i am acting this way and little by little you're going to move out of their control and be more independent and have your own individuality then my next tip is to get or make your own money next to moving out is getting or making your own money i realize that once you are dependent on your parents for money for you know items for accommodation for food they have that control over you but once you have your own money and can provide most of the things that you need for yourself automatically take that control so if you can as much as possible to make your own money even if you don't have the means right now take the money that you're giving you of course take it i'm not saying that get up one morning and say that hey i don't want your money anymore how are you going to live? Do you have a plan? Just take your money. Take your money, but make sure that you're saving some of that money. If you can, use some to start a business that will be able to sustain you. So you wouldn't need to be going to them every single time for money. But once you have established or you've gotten to that point where you're making your own money or you don't need that extra support or sponsorship from them, you pretty much have all your control to yourself. Maybe not all of it, but about 85 to 90% of that is on you now. So yeah definitely do that my next tip is to break the rules sometimes you just have to be a rebel because when you try to reason with them it's not working when you try to do this and that it's not working all those rules are still there so your only option now is to break the rules i hope that my kids don't watch this video 20 years from now and think that they can be rebellious to my heart there's some parents that no matter how much you're trying to reason with them no matter how much you're trying to let them see that i'm at this point in my life and i don't need you to be controlling all of that they're not seeing it so your next move will be to break the rules but of course make sure that you try to talk to them make sure that you try to set boundaries and all of that and if all those things do not work only then do you go ahead and break the rules and not to call my brother out but my brother has done a good job it's like they only have to accept that okay fine you know it's okay he will come back home even if he stays out past 2 a.m in the morning he will eventually come home before then seven o'clock eight o'clock nine o'clock where are you when are you coming and i think that even though this is not the best of advice sometimes you really 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 need to break these rules in order to get your freedom back so you try every single thing and it's not working the next thing is break the rules break them small small little by little okay don't go and break all the rules they kick you out of the house you're alone hmm? i didn't say anything okay <laughs> small small be rebellious one week come for the next week then hit them again with the rebellion you'll get the message instantly trust me my next tip is something that is worth noting i want you to know that your parents strongly from the bottom of their hearts believe that they are doing the best for you they believe that all these rules and regulations criticism and all these things they are doing is with your best interest at heart that is what they believe they don't give birth to you and try to ruin your life I don't think most parents want to do that of course yeah you're, you're, you're their child you're like your precious child my mother calls me princess sometimes so it's like well yeah even though she can be you know i'm still her princess anyway but yeah your parents pretty much cherish you and they don't want you to make all these mistakes because they think that they've gone through life they've seen it all and they don't want you to fall into all these potholes or you know have any of those bad experiences that they've had which is logical children and people in general are curious Sometimes they want to make their own mistakes and then learn from those mistakes, which is not always great, but that is just human nature. Maybe parents should be able to understand that. And if you're watching this and you also want to have children, I hope that all these things are also at the back of your mind when it comes to raising your own children. But this next thing that I want you to know is that it will not last forever. They will not be controlling forever. And I'm telling you this because four years ago, 
the type of control that my parents had over my life is not the same control that they have now even though i'm still living with them i've been able to implement all these other tips that i've just given and that has definitely helped me so keep in mind that the older you get the more independence you get the more they are less likely to be very controlling over your life if you've done all these things and they are still controlling please take it to the lord in prayer otherwise check out this video where i talk about adulting and my tip on how to survive adulting as a young person or check out this